Hello, I'm Thomas Dark and I'm a PhD student from the Technical University in Munich. Today I'm at DLR Earth Observation Center where I work together with my colleagues from the Signal Processing and Earth Observation Department and the Cities and Societies team on developing algorithms to detect urban poverty from remote sensing data. The United Nations stated their Sustainable Development Goals that solving poverty still remains one of the major challenges we face as a society. In my work, I want to focus on the most extreme cases of urban poverty in the Global South. Together with my colleagues, we work on deep learning segmentation algorithms to detect these settlements. It is important to note that for our work, we use high-resolution planetscope data to map these settlements. We not only want to find more about the vast variety of slum morphologies, but we also want to offer an applicable approach for large-scale poverty mapping. In our previous work, we found out that fully convolutional networks tend to outperform traditional machine learning methods. But in my opinion, the real benefit of deep learning lies in its power to generalize well to a vast amount of different slum morphologies. Thus, for our most recent work, we created a large-scale poverty data set. This data set covers 10 cities of the Global South with 4,200 individual slums. For this work, we set up a fully convolutional exception network that was able to detect poverty settlements in completely different geographical regions. Today, I would like to share our most recent updates to our deep learning algorithms. We moved away from using a fully convolutional exception network to an exception feature pyramid network that's specifically set up for segmentation. We train our XFPN in a leave one out manner, meaning we combine nine cities of the large scale poverty data set to create one big training data set and we test our model in the remaining city. Here in the background, we can see the city of Caracas in Venezuela. We apply our XFPN to map slums across the whole city while scoring an intersection of a union of 71%. We could outperform our recent fully convolutional network by around 5%. If we have a closer look, we can really see the challenge of using high resolution planet scope data to map slums. We can see here the reference data and how the XFPN is able to match this reference quite nicely. We still want to improve our segmentation results and we hope to share this with you in the future. Thank you so much.